I hope you're having a good day. Glad that you are tuning in for a midweek devotional with us today. I don't know about you, but I stayed up too late last night watching the news. And today, here in the church office, as I'm thinking about a personal devotional time, reading scripture and, and praying, I, I decided that I really need to focus on ministry, the work at hand, the good ministry that we're doing here at the Northside Church of Christ. Robbie Daniel, our youth minister, and I met recently and talked about some goals and some plans and strategies for ministry for the year ahead in 2021 as we come near the end of the calendar year. One of the things that we do is to think about planning curriculum, events, activities, various things. We recently had an elders, deacons, ministers workshop on Zoom where we talked about different ministry plans and vision for the future. And so today I've been thinking about that and thinking about just serving in God's kingdom, not getting distracted with all of the things that are going on in our world and allowing that to, to cause me unrest or anxiety. But you know, I really need, and I'm preaching to myself, I really need to focus on the ministry that God has assigned me in this place, in this present time, for His glory. And as I'm thinking about that, I'm reminded of the passage in Ephesians chapter 4 which talks about equipping. We want as Christians to be equipped for ministry, equipped for service, equipped for work in the church of Christ, in the kingdom of God. Give attention to the reading of Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. Speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into Him who is the head into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. You know, our desire is that every member, every Christian, every believer be equipped for service in the kingdom of God. This passage here in Ephesians chapter 4, we have a picture of a healthy church, a church where the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. It says when each part is working properly, it makes the body grow so that it, it, it builds itself up in love. Notice again that the whole body, not piece, part, portion, but the whole body, every member, is equipped for the purpose of upbuilding. Now, we, we have different roles, we have different responsibilities, we have different resources, different talents, but we find what we can do, find where we can serve in the body of Christ and do it. So, you know, we want to be more than comfortable Christians who are content to sit and stare. Rather, we want to be a church body that is alive and functioning faithfully in the work of serving God. I think also of David in the Old Testament. He did not go up, remember, against Goliath empty-handed. Rather, he took the tools and the skills that were unique to him and used them to defeat a mighty enemy. He was equipped with just what was needed to accomplish the mission. Likewise, each member in the church is to take up their unique resources and skills with which God has equipped them. It is God who equips us with strength, and He's given us Scripture so that we may be competent, equipped for every good work. That's in 2 Timothy 3 and verse 17. We want to be an equipping church. We want to be a church with unity that uses every resource and talent for God's glory. 
We want to be a church with zeal that is eagerly engaged in the overall life of the congregation, refusing to get pulled away or distracted by other matters that may be all around us in the world. Let's not forget our mission, our role, our work, our service in the local congregation, the local body of Christ where the Lord has placed us. And so we want to be a church with maturity that is able to effectively carry out the work of ministry. We implore every member of the church to take on the task of being equipped for faithfulness. As uh, I conclude sharing with you this devotional thought, I do want to draw our attention as we wrap up to the book of Hebrews in chapter 13. This is another passage that I think is very helpful and instructive in its uh, teaching about being equipped for service in God's kingdom. Again, Hebrews 13, 20, 21. Let me just end with this reading and then a prayer. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do His will, working in us that which is pleasing in His sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for Your wonderful blessings. Help us to be faithful in the work that You have assigned us. Help us to be responsible for the ministry assignments that we've been given. And Heavenly Father, we do pray that you will bless our nation, that you will bless every leader of this country and every world leader. And Lord, we pray that you will bless the leaders of each local congregation, each church family. Um, be with every church member. And again, as we think about our nation, be with every resident. Uh, we ask that you will grant wisdom and courage to all of our government officials that they would pursue what is good and righteous. Lord, we pray that you will help us to look for those opportunities providentially that you place before us to model faith, to model Jesus for a watching world to see, to speak a, a word of encouragement, to share the story of Jesus. Strengthen us to be faithful to you in every way. Help us to be salt and light. Lord, bless uh, those that are struggling perhaps physically or spiritually or emotionally. Minister to us out of your grace and strength, and we pray for your help and your continued provision. Uh, we give these concerns to you, and we, uh, above all, give thanks for your goodness and your glory, and for Jesus Christ, who died and rose so that we have hope, so that we have redemption, so that we have the promise of eternal life, and, O oh Lord, so that we are equipped for service in your kingdom. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care. See you later.